Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Monica and here's wishing you a happy Friendship Day. Hope you reached out to your friends with a personal message, letting them know how much they mean to you and that every day you celebrate them in your life. Wait a minute, you didn't, right? Or just send them a forward, a video, a JPEG or a GIF. Well, we have become cyber zombies with fingers and eyes on our phones all the time and looking down, not around where life is actually happening. So the topic today is cyber zombies, war against distraction. We are not realizing that the technology has started to program us rather than us programming it. You're literally giving your intellectual intelligence to feed the beast that will destroy you. This short-term dopamine dose is quite a fatal one in inducing a mental coma. It's a global problem. Go on a social media detox. Half the depression and sadness will go away. Go spend time in nature, have coffee or cocktails with a friend and don't hashtag the coffee on Instagram. But then again, you know, if it's not on Instagram, it didn't happen. Well, feed your mind and not your social media feed all the time. As if the idiot box was not enough to make us dim and dry towards our relationships. As the people wouldn't want to be disturbed while being glued to it. And now these smartphones have made us dumb and dumber. Dude, you don't even remember your own emergency contact number half the times. Or even your home phone number for that matter. Am I right or am I right? Social life is dead, but social media life, oh la la. Hashtag Insta mode, hashtag work mode, hashtag party time or whatever. Wait a minute, rewind. Hashtag work mode, working or hashtagging. We're living in the hashtag lane. Checking your likes is the new tobacco and the app stores want your soul. There are billions of people on Facebook which is literally more than a lot of religious followers. People are glued to their phones all the time, countless times a day and we have lost the millennials jacked into mindlessness with soul or soulfulness trapped in technology. A typical person checks their phones every 15 minutes and there's no notification. It's a constant anxiety reflex and hence senseless stress and God forbid if the battery was low or about to die. Hashtag panic attack. Meditate. Breathe. Observe your mind. The monkey mind. The monkey. Identify your thought path and patterns and direct them towards something constructive. Unprecedented junk today dents our mind with overload of unwanted or negative info. We got to be careful and conscious to be selective as to what we are feeding our minds. And if that input is chosen wisely, it will give you a desirable mental environment that you seek. Stop watching that breaking news. The only thing it's breaking is you with virus to your mind, with death, fear, rape, attacks, wars, hijacks, scandals, and whatnot. All this is only terrorizing your minds and doing the terrorist's job for them. They want to catch your attention for their TRPs, sadly. Social media is such a wonderful tool today to reach out to people without disturbing them but it is catastrophic and detrimental when abused. Tell me this, does social media control you? Well, you need to take control of social media, else it will. The more we use social media, the more isolated we feel and the more isolated we feel, the more we use social media and the result of this is a constant twister in your head. Hashtag depression, hashtag anxiety. In fact, human interaction has gone pretty much silch. Our generation waited for their jobs to get computers. And today, children get their first laptops at an early age. And in fact, even the toddlers are plugged into their very own iPads or tablet addictions. 
we got dictations from our teachers and today's toddlers dictate the bots to do things for them alexa play incy wincy spider our days we don't even have a picture when we were born most of us and kids today are born online and retweeted and liked it's quite bizarre and unhealthy really it's extremely sad and annoying today that people don't have conversations anymore sitting together they're on their phones best part we're not even living our real lives anymore it's all a projection real life versus real life and most of them are getting sad and depressed with the other ones highlighted real you've no idea what's going on in the other person's behind the scenes reality with our news feeds and gadgets customized to our clicks and likes we are failing at relationships because they involve patience and work unlike a gadget or an app they cannot be customized well we've stopped evolving and the gadgets are evolving more into humans and even better in some cases we're trying to buy gadgets we cannot afford to impress people we don't like our times we used to fight with our parents for their attention shared with the other sibling and today we've lost the battle to the bots the machines are literally taking over so here's a debating thought i'm leaving you with that while on one hand the use of technology is replacing human contact on the other hand this technology is all we use to establish new relations but here's the one key insight that this debate lacks which is that we're treading a fine thread between what technology does and how we as consumers use technology but most importantly it's about the people who develop technology they choose what it does and how they want their consumers to be hooked to it like for example facebook which was developed for addiction and now has become a literal disorder facebook addiction disorder and soon we will need rehab for that i will be sharing this topic in detail on my upcoming video so stay tuned until then be mindful where your attention goes because that is where the energy flows sending lots of love light and mindfulness don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and your thoughts in the comment section below